This episode centering around Greg and Amethyst is honestly a unique dynamic considering of how in the last episode that I've talked about today centers around Amethyst can't be able to go anywhere unless if she acts the way she is and when it comes to her time with Greg that he ended up missing the fireworks when it came to New Year's. This episode literally knew what it was trying to do when it comes to these characters, especially with Amethyst. Greg is planning to clean up the garage before New Year's while celebrating with the fireworks with Steven, but Amethyst found tapes of a little butler, which made Greg really happy that he managed to find them, so they decided to watch it, but not Steven since that he's still grounded. Steven not only wants to clean the garage for Greg, but also realizing that Greg and Amethyst have been watching multiple VHS tapes of Little Butler, which made him really suspicious considering that Paul just cannot stand on the fact that Greg and Amethyst are watching those that really kept them binge watching the show without coming out of the garage. But people like Greg just can't let go of the past due to how they just miss it so much. And to tell you the truth, we really relate to Greg a lot more. And when it came to Amethyst's character from the last episode I talked about, it really shows that she's willing to do all this for the sake of not moving forward. And even though I did say it that she does move forward in some cases when it comes to this, it kind of shows that her motivations in this episode, she's just trying to cheer Greg up but not messing with him nor his brain, which in comparison to Paul and Garnet, they would have done much more better than Amethyst, which really proves my points on my statements towards Amethyst in the last episode. The show Little Butler that Greg and Amethyst have been watching, even though it's not really addictive, aside from the point of view of Greg and Amethyst, it's only addictive if you're really into old stuff and mainly difficult to let go of it. Like, to tell you the truth, whenever you're into something that you just can't let go and you have to try to move forward in order to make things better for yourself, it's really difficult for someone like Greg to do because considering that Greg's life as a parent isn't the same as everyone else's and his mind is is going to explode, not really, but at the same time when he learned the information that Walls was Pink Diamond all on, I can't imagine what he's feeling if he ever does any of this stuff again. Like, he'll probably watch Little Butler, but when it comes to Woes, it's gonna be a very difficult time to realize that he, he can't be able to go back knowing full well that Woes just used him. With Garnet and Paul against the idea of Greg and Amethyst watching that Little Butler show, to tell you the truth, I've been there when I have VHSs while I watch them constantly and rewind them just to watch them again. And in comparison to Greg's predicament, he had a reason on to why. Like if the TV shows like Little Butler was hypnotizing him, it would probably be a lot more awkward to think about. But at the same time, since it was none of those things and it's mainly him just trying to cope with what he's doing with right now. It's literally no different that Amethyst just instantly copes with everything that she has in order to deal with the reality that she was born in a way that she doesn't want to be born. Let me be real with you that Amethyst in this episode, while well, not as good as she was in the last episode, really shows that her motivations really shows that she's just trying to help people, but not for the right reasons. Now granted, it didn't excuse of what she did, not to mention uh, keeping Greg away from the fireworks when it comes to New Year's, but at the same time, it's literally, the, it's literally that her abilities to make people happy is a lot more different in comparison to Paul and Garnet. And to tell you the truth, just by seeing her clean up the garage after they, after she leaves the garage, after putting Greg into multiple VHS takes of binge-watching Little Butler, 
that she's willing to fix the picture of him and walls that got broken is literally the only way for her to make things right. Even if he made Greg miss the fireworks, it's literally the only way for her to make up with all of it when it comes to cleaning the garage and giving him the photo of him and Rose. Let's just say that there's a reason onto why Amethyst is good, but mainly for how she's executed in comparison to the other characters. Granted, Paul and Garnet have different developments that may be mixed when it comes to roles, but at the same time, we haven't gotten there yet, and we're getting into one of my favorite episodes, which is World Scaffold tomorrow, but at the same time, there's another episode before we get into that episode. All in all, this episode really had the effort to make Greg's character improve, as well as Amethyst. And to tell you the truth, it's an indicator that Greg's development is either going to be good for me when it comes to rewatching these episodes, but at the same time, I still have the knowledge that Rose is Pink Diamond all along. The only thing we're going to wait, the only thing I'm waiting for is how the episodes are going to be like after they were aged differently due to a single pair of Rose changing the whole show. I'm giving this episode a 7 out of 10. You.